Hey everyone, it's Dabacab here. I wanted to make this video to discuss a somewhat strange opinion that I have about video games. At least, I think it's strange. I think probably there's not a lot of people out there who share this opinion. But I think that positivity is a skill. I think it's a skill that should be trained and honed and perfected in pretty much the same way that you train you know, your accuracy or your map awareness or your team coordination. And it's a fundamentally important and critical skill to competitive games like FPSs and MOBAs. And in a lot of ways, to be honest, I actually think that positivity is more important than aim. I think a good attitude is better for you than good accuracy. And I realize a lot of you are probably gonna have sort of like a knee-jerk reaction, like, oh my gosh, this is an FPS. Good aim reigns supreme, that's the most important thing. And like, I understand where you're coming from, but there's kind of more to it than that. So I try to think about how positivity affects the game, the players, me, and like me outside of the game as well. So like if, let's let's imagine, for example, that you have two extremes. You have a super, super positive person who is bad at the game. So let's imagine that this like 10 year old picks up the game and he's really enthusiastic and he's on voice chat and he's saying, wow, you guys are really good. Man, we're, we're, no, we're not doing well, but we can do this. Let's stick together. And he's just being super positive, but he just can't shoot anyone versus this like pro MLG expert who's getting headshots left and right, but it's just complaining and you suck. Your, your aim's terrible. Go kill yourself, uninstall. And he's criticizing people in the other teams and he's just like constantly just riding everyone. Like which would you rather have on your team? For me personally, I think that I would rather have the, you know, the young kid who's positive about the game because like you, you gotta keep in mind that positivity sort of like leaks out Positivity and negativity both leaks out into other parts of the game. I mean, there's this, there's the phrase playing on tilt, and for those of you who don't know, that's actually a poker term. In poker, if you sort of have a couple bad hands and you get frustrated, you start playing worse, and they call that playing on tilt. And poker is like a pretty, like, chill game. I mean, you're not like in like a sort of, sort of like high stress, high energy split second decision environment. You're basically just sitting on a chair. I mean, there's a lot of money on the table, but you, you have a lot more control over your environment versus FPS games where you've got to be sort of like in the moment, everything's really intense and your adrenaline's pumping. So it's a little bit easier to get sort of emotionally intense in an FPS game. So if poker players playing a game that is all about keeping your cool can get frustrated and play badly, then that's certainly the case. That's certainly true for a highly emotional game like an FPS. So if you allow yourself to get tilted and get frustrated and start playing badly, then, you know, even if you're a pro MLG expert, you're still gonna be playing badly because that's just how humans work. We get frustrated and we don't do so well. And then the problem is that that spreads to other people. I mean, we've all had games where like, you're sort of not doing well, maybe you have a bad start and then someone calls you out and is like, you suck, kill yourself, uninstall. And that makes you feel shitty or you're like, you kind of feel on the spot. So then you play even worse and it kind of snowballs from there because the worse you do, the more frustrated you get and the more frustrated you get, the worse you do. Uh, Genji, if you can't kill their Bastion, could you switch off? You can shut your nigger mouth. How about that? No, I wasn't talking sh Learn to take criticism. Guys, chill you out. You can whoa, shut whoa, your whoa. nigger okay. mouth. No, I didn't say shit. I'm you can saying... shut your nigger mouth. See, I can make a song out of it, dude. All right, okay. You win, okay. And, you know, the negativity can spread to other people because then once you get frustrated, you're more inclined to lash out at others. And pretty soon the entire team is just typing out all this negative stuff to each other and complaining rather than actually playing the game. And then on top of that, like, you have to look at positivity and how it affects you outside of the game. Like, let's, let's say every single time you sit down and play Overwatch, People are just constantly complaining and writing you and saying, you're the worst, uninstall, kill yourself. You pro like, I don't know about you, but for me, that would be such a negative experience that I'd probably just stop playing. I mean, even if I like the game, if there's that much negativity lobbed at me, it'd, it'd be kind of difficult to ignore and just play through it. So that would make me not want to play, which means ultimately I don't practice, I don't get better at the game, I don't experience this game that I love. 
And on top of that, the game would develop this culture of being toxic and negative. I mean, there are games out there that have really negative cultures associated with them. League of Legends has had toxicity problems. Dota is known as being really sort of like hyper competitive and extremely intense. So if Overwatch goes down that route, if people express their negativity and toxicity all the time, then that's what the culture will turn into. And then down the road, when people are like, hey, should I, should I, Overwatch just had this huge expansion with a lot of new content. I've been thinking about buying the game for a while. Should I buy it? And it's like, well, I heard that the community is really toxic. Maybe I'll pass. It actually hurts the game. It like reduces the amount of money that Blizzard has, which reduces the amount of resources they can allocate towards creating new content. So all these things stem from just being positive or being negative. So to me, I think genuinely that being positive is the most important thing. It affects your own skill. It affects the skill, the skills of your teammate. It affects how you view the game and how much you want to, to play the game, which leads to how much you practice the game and how good you become at the game. And it affects the game culture and how successful the company does and how other people interact and become involved with the game. So whenever I sit down to play Overwatch, I tr like, I'm always like, I try to be positive. I, or at the very least, I try to not be negative. There are times when I get frustrated. There are times when I, you know, play badly and I maybe even get the urge to lash out. I mean, you know, I'm a human just like everyone else. We've all had moments where we just get frustrated. But I make a conscious effort to not do that. I make a conscious effort to instead compliment people and say, you know, wow, like that that headshot was really good, Hanzo. Like, yeah, from my from my perspective, it was totally bullshit. Like, I you know, I turn a corner, he wasn't even aiming at me, it gets my head. And when that happens, I would be like, ah, screw you, Hanzo. That wasn't even intentional, you just got lucky. And instead I'll just, you know, type in all chat, you know, that was a good shot, Hanzo. Because just saying that, just paying a compliment to your enemy, trying to keep things light and friendly will actually lighten my spirit. It'll help me dispel that negativity that I first experienced from that really bad hit, that really bad headshot, and then help me enjoy the rest of the game. So it's sort of like whenever I have this sort of moment of frustration, I think of it as a crossroads. I can either go down this route of negativity, which will end with me being frustrated at the game, I'll be pissed off that people were calling me out, that I wasn't playing well, and I won't want to play Overwatch again after that. Or I will, but I'll come into the game sort of charged negatively and I'll play badly. Or I can just say, you know, it's not a big deal. Let's just try and be positive. You know, that was a good shot, enemy. Or, you know, we're doing badly, team. Come on, let's, let's pull it together. I'll switch out. You know, what can we do to fix the situation? And try to salvage the situation and infuse it with enough positivity that even if we lose, I come out of it thinking, you know what, that, that's fine. You know, I had a good time, I enjoyed it. For me, I try to train my positivity. I try to practice it like a skill. I mean, I, like you learn a new hero. When, when a new hero comes out like Anna, everyone kind of sucks with her at first and everyone's trying to like figure out how she works and then, you know, the meta develops around her and people have to learn how to play her. And it's the same thing with positivity. You just have to learn how to de-stress you have to learn how to like notice what triggers you and avoid it. You need to learn how to just have a good attitude about the game. Because if you do that, if you have a good attitude about the game, then three months from now, that will translate into you knowing a hero better than you would have before. It translates into having better aim. It translates into having better map awareness. Because having this positive attitude leads to you playing more to you being more engaged, to being more coordinated with your team. So this is my attempt to help out everyone out there. I mean, I'm not trying to say be positive because I want a more pleasant game experience. I'm saying be positive for selfish reasons. If you want to be good at Overwatch, if you want to win Overwatch, if you want to be better than your opponent, then try and be happy, try and have fun, try and enjoy your teammates. Because if you do that, then I think down the road, you are more likely to develop the skills that will make you better than your opponents. I mean, like, if you look at professional gamers, sure, I realize that a lot of professional gamers are sort of like, have kind of intense personalities, potentially a lot of the time, and they, you know, want to win and they're very competitive. 
you know, there are different kinds of positivity. There can be positivity like Lucio's positivity, which is very, you know, friendly, collaborative, laid back. Let's all have fun, guys. And there's positivity the way that like Diva has positivity, which is like, we can win this. I want to win. I want to be number one. I'm motivated. I'm driven. I want to give it 100%. You know, that's a little bit more aggressive, but it's still positive. It's still like looking on the bright side. She's optimistic about her chances. She's motivated and determined. So it's up to you what brand of positivity you want to use as you, you know, hone your skills. But I think that pretty much for all of us, we could really benefit by thinking of positivity as a skill. Train it. Get better at it. I think that if you start playing games with this in mind, then you'll start to notice an actual difference in how you view Overwatch, how you play Overwatch, and how your skills developed. At least that's true for me. I mean, I practice it all the time in my YouTube. So YouTube is, you know, <laughs> YouTube comments don't always have the best reputation. People can be really caustic and mean and just like unnecessarily like you put out a video you might make one mistake and it's like not a big deal you just like screw up a transition and people will be like holy crap you totally screwed this up why did you post a clip with bots you should kill yourself uninstall what is this is so dumb i'm unsubbed and it's like this extremely negative reaction you know it can kind of make you feel shitty sometimes so I try to practice this positivity in my channel. Whenever someone's really negative, I either just don't engage to just avoid the negativity or I try to turn it into something positive where it's like, okay, you don't like this channel or you don't like this, this video, help me understand what you don't like about this video so I can improve it in the future. You don't like this music? Oh, you know, I'm sorry you don't like this music. Um, I'm actually really limited by music selection because um, I can only put in no copyright music. Do you know of any other music that I can maybe use instead? And then, you know, maybe I'll find links to music that I didn't know about before. So for me, actually it works. I mean, there was a, a couple of times very early in my channel's life where I was kind of like almost afraid to go to comments because even though 95% of the comments were positive, there are still those 5% that just stick with you, you know? Like it's, after a while, if, if you read like a lot of comments, they could just sort of blend together. But if you have just one guy who just like rails on you and just like, wow, this video sucks because of this, this, and this, then it kind of, you know, it just makes you feel bad. So it came to the point where I just didn't want to read comments. I just sort of put it off for like days and finally I was like, ugh, fine. I guess I'll read the comments and I'll go through them. And you know, it's like, okay, most of them aren't that bad actually. But I sort of realized that I was associating negativity with my YouTube, which made me realize that if I kept that up, I would eventually just not want to uh, not want to make videos anymore. I, I wouldn't want to nurture my channel and help it grow. So I tried to just change my mentality about comments and just be more positive. Just say, okay, there's always going to be some people who are negative, something I can do about it. But when it happens, I'll just have to either make the best of the situation or just not engage with the negativity and just not let it affect me. And it has worked for me. I've had a much more positive approach to the channel. I'm much more happy when I engage with fans and overall it's a more pleasant experience. So I'm hoping that everyone watching this can take this advice from me and apply this to Overwatch and, you know, make Overwatch and make your playing experience more positive. So that's my belief. I don't really know how common this is. I feel kind of like I'm a a black sheepness. I've never really heard anyone else discuss positivity as a skill before. So I'm just sort of assuming that most people don't think of it that way. So let me know what you think. Do you agree that positivity is a skill that should be trained in an FPS like Overwatch? Do you agree that positivity can make you a better player? That it's an important skill, as important as things like map awareness or team coordination or maybe even aim? So let me know in the comments. I'm actually really curious to know because I've never really had a discussion with other people about this. This is just something that's been floating around in the back of my brain as I sort of train and try to become better. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Dabba Cab out.